ICIC uh, 821 uh, as a compared to the previous person ICIC 745. Actually, uh, in 2023, uh, from the 1st of July, uh, the latest or updated version of the international standard banking practice, the publication uh, number is 821, is effective. And the previous uh, version, the ISDP uh, 745, there is a uh, nine basic uh, and significant uh, changes uh, uh, taken in this latest version. However, I uh, would like to, to uh, first of all, uh, the overall uh, overview or the details and discussion of the ISDP uh, in my uh, previous uh, video, uh, which uh, uh, video link is uh, given in the description box of uh, this video. And the person who are interested to, to know the details of the ISDP, uh, please uh, link, please uh, click the link uh, uh, in the, uh, the description box. Please uh, go to the description box and uh, uh, click the link of the previous uh, the video, ISDP 745. And the basic change, what are the basis of, of these changes in latest version? First of all, I have already mentioned that the latest version has been effective July 1st, 2023. And update version of the ISDP 820, ISDP 821 is introduced Align with the approved official opinions between uh, 2013 and 2023. As a result, the following are the recognized as a containing content uh, that, would be, that would be meaningful for addition within the ISDP. Banking professional, and this video is very much important and significant for the bank professional. The person who are in the, who are working in the foreign access or the bankers, the personal who are professional and the product specialist in uh, especially uh, involved with the, the payment system like the SWIFT, RTA, ACS, uh, Federate, ISO 2002, SEPIA, SEPA, and the Target 2. These are the uh, resource, uh, these are the persons who are directly benefited uh, for the starting of the changes of ISDP 821, uh, which is the changes from the previous version ISDP 400, uh, 745. Now, I would like to discuss the what are the basic uh, changes uh, in uh, the latest version. And I have, we have found that nine uh, updates are taken by given in the new publication, uh, ISDP 821. And before discussion, the uh, details of the nine update, uh, I would like to, to overview of the update. And uh, in the previous video, I have already mentioned that the overall ISBB is uh, segregated uh, eight different uh, chapters uh, for the different uh, purpose. And uh, number one chapter uh, mentioned or discussed or details uh, uh, discussed on the background of the ISBB and the preliminary consideration and the new publication or update publication, uh, there is the uh, two uh, basic or important or significant changes in taken in the preliminary consideration. Three changes in the uh, second chapter, general principles, and uh, uh, chapter number three, where the uh, draft and the calculation of the maturity data has been discussed. There is no change taken in the latest version. And uh, the fourth chapter, where the invoice is uh, described, uh, there are still uh, one uh, significant change uh, uh, taken in the invoice. And, uh, uh, the chapter uh, where the transfer document is discussed, uh, there are uh, changes, uh, two significant changes are taken in the latest version, and insurance document uh, one change is taken. And other the two, that means certificate of origin and other document, the chapter has no uh, changes uh, in the latest version. However, now I would like to uh, discuss the details, uh, what are the uh, basic uh, changes uh, in uh, the latest version. And first of all, I would like to, to uh, the alignment of the ISDP with the ICC opinions in code. That means the basic uh, nine changes has been taken uh, on the uh, last uh, 10 years, uh, a series of observation is uh, taken from the uh, all over the uh, world. And uh, uh, the ICC uh, expert teams uh, reviewed the, the observation and taken this observation uh, as a opinion, ICC opinion, which is included in the uh, following uh, changes. Number one says 
the change number one or the update number one, there is a mention that new preliminary consideration is added to in this sense, chapter two uh, addition, uh, additional preliminary consideration taken number eighteen and number number eight and number nine. Number eight is the stating that stating that the absence of the credit reference number or the missed uh, typing uh, the credit number on the document does not uh, constitute a reason uh, for the the uh, reason or for the uh, valid reason for the refusal. The exception of this uh, where it has been required of the importing country. And this is exception if the exporting countries impose any uh, any uh, clause in, in, in regarding this uh, matter. And that the credit number uh, be stated or on our most document. In such circumstances, the credit must clearly indicate that this is the reason for the number to be shown on uh, that or the other document. Here, uh, here I would like to, to mention that uh, if a issuing a bank uh, uh, uses the reference number uh, for uh, for identifying the uh, the case, uh, however, in future, however, he uh, he or she uh, handling the uh, case. But sometimes uh, MC um, uh, issuing a bank uh, use the MC reference number in his LC. For example, on 001234 uh, is uh, mentioned by the issuing bank as the LC reference number. But whenever the supplier submitted the documents, the CI or bill of lading or ERYS bill or any other kind of document, but in the document they mistakenly or uh, anyhow uh, make a error and uh, 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 um, no mention the uh, reference number of the uh, uh, credit number or that means LC number on the CIBL or, the, or any type of mistaken or mistyping, this document is description or this document is the compliant presentation. This is the course taken 807 of uh, 70. Uh, six uh, of the fashion and uh, reviewed by the expert team of the ICC and uh, finally they taken uh, 876 uh, as the opinion uh, who is uh, in who is uh, they have mentioned that or uh, if the, uh, the if the issuer or the, the exporter or the supplier is uh, failed to mention the LC reference number or the, the mistyping the credit reference number on the document uh, document or not mentioned on the credit number on the document is not is a discrepancy is not a discrepancy or is not treated as a constituted reason for the refusal unless unless there is a valid required for the import country but if the in, if if any imported uh, country uh, uh, the expressed uh, the, uh, the local regulatory uh, um, local regulatory uh, compliance uh, part I uh, mentioned that the LC number is the mandatory if the regulatory authority of any importing the country uh, they impose uh, the, uh, the condition of the credit number must be mentioned in the, uh, the document. Uh, the, that case is the exceptional case. Otherwise, in general, where the, the importing country are uh, not uh, restricted or not rigid, uh, the, the, this type of condition, uh, this, uh, uh, and in this case, if the uh, exporter or supplier whenever submitted the document uh, without the reference number of the credit or mistype the reference number of the credit uh, is not treated as uh, the uh, discrepancy of the document. And number two, change number two, or update number two, um, additional photocopies of the documents and the condition. In a new preliminary consideration, it's treated as a new preliminary consideration, and document may not be stable. This type of uh, condition uh, or term or uh, clause is, uh, is mentioned on the LC uh, by uh, the issuing bank. And uh, regarding this matter, ICC uh, taken the observation uh, last uh, 10 years uh, from the uh, all over the uh, global, uh, uh, all over the world, and, uh, and uh, collect the, uh, the number of uh, observation and the review to the, that observation uh, by the expert team of the ICC. And uh, finally, they uh, taken 915 uh, opinion, uh, 15 observation as a opinion. And they mentioned that an issuing bank should not be incorporated in a credit administrative condition. The um, uh, issuing bank has no right to uh, import, incorporate a credit administration condition. Credit administration condition means credit administration condition means which the such as the requirement for the additional set of a copy or a document to be presented on the issuing bank use or stated the documents may uh, stated the documents or 
or set of award for the additional uh, set of a copies of document to be presented for the issuing the bank's use on the condition that will the document may not be stapled. If nevertheless, such a condition are incorporated into credit, but not to comply, but not to comply with this will not to constitute uh, uh, for the result or for the refusal. Sometimes the issuing bank uh, mentioned to try in, in their credit uh, the two conditions. Number one, some additional photocopy uh, the, the, they required. Sometimes they uh, mentioned uh, the, 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 all the documents and have not be stapled. This type of approach. If the uh, the supplier or the uh, exporter, whoever is uh, failed to, to uh, present the additional uh, set of a copies of a document as per LC term or the uh, staple documents, uh, the staple document or the staple the document, this uh, type of uh, condition uh, uh, is uh, not the uh, constitute uh, the discrepancy. If the exporter is a uh, failed to the region party future, uh, this is uh, not uh, uh, treated as the discrepancy condition. So uh, it is very important uh, for the, the uh, settle the uh, confusion among the issuing bank and the supplier. Number three, uh, the changes, changes number three or the updation that number three, we have already mentioned in the previous version, um, the chapter general, uh, general paragraph uh, A1 uh, mentioned that a number of uh, abbreviation uh, is treated, uh, is explained uh, General, which one is generally accepted by the abbreviation LTD Institute of Limited. Inter INTL Institute of the International Co Institute of the Company, IMD uh, Company. Manufacturer is, uh, is uh, abbreviated MFR. Among MT means MT uh, is treated uh, uh, as a instead of the metric tone. These are the abbreviation which one is allowed in the previous version of the ISDP if uh, someone um, uh, full uh, name that means limited or company or manufacturer or metric to mention in the LC, but whenever the document is submitted, they use the abbreviation format that means uh, uh, LTD Institute of Limited, uh, I international, IMTL Institute of International, these are allowed uh, and these are not treated as the uh, discrepancy document. And in the new version for uh, ISDP 821, uh, the another type of uh, terminology, uh, abbreviation, uh, that means uh, industry or industry, uh, this uh, type of, this um, uh, yeah, the terminology is uh, have making a number of confusion among the banks and uh, the parties of the LC. So, in ICC, in the latest version of the ISDB, adding the AIND, Institute of Industry and Industries, this uh, new terminology is uh, added uh, in this uh, uh, chapter. And this type of uh, Euro or this type of activities uh, uh, of the exporter which were submitted the document do not make this uh, document as the description document. And number three, uh, now uh, changes number four or update number four is a very, very uh, significant. And here uh, the main uh, the thing is that the documents uh, and the need for the completion of a box, field, or uh, space. Sometimes uh, some documents uh, have uh, some box or a space uh, 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 or uh, gapping uh, where a particular type of uh, information or data uh, has to be uh, written. But sometimes uh, the uh, issuer or uh, of the document uh, do not uh, follow this uh, type of instruction. And in this case, this document is different for the, uh, the compliant presentation. This is the valid question. And for, regarding this matter, the ICC taken uh, last 10 years, a number of observations and reviewed by the expert team, and finally 818 uh, observations is taken as an uh, opinion. And in this, uh, in this case, but the fact is that the document has a box or field or a space or a data to be inserted does not necessarily mean that such box, field, space uh, that is to be completed. For example, data are not required in the box title. For example, accounting information or Accounting information, for example, the, uh, any kind of accounting information, any type of accounting, inf accounting information or the handling information uh, uh, have to be mentioned, information have to mention in a particular box. 
in a particular box. But whenever the document is submitted, this information uh, is not uh, uh, filled by uh, the, the uh, issuer uh, in uh, in that particular box or a space. Uh, in this case, this document is um, uh, is uh, um, comply or the discrepancy and uh, in the this uh, new addition or new upgradation um, also see in the 713 uh, is the respect of the requirement of the signature of the appear in the box or field or space and not completing the box field or space do not constitute the discrepancy this is the main uh, uh, main point is that to appear in a box it is not treated as a discrepancy it is not treated as a discrepancy and this number uh, uh, five New para is added to the uh, A 13 uh, B. Uh, copy the document need not be signed. They are mentioned that whenever the copy document is submitted, copy document did not the sign and need not to the sign. Copy document uh, not, uh, need not to sign the event. When the credit states that, that all the documents are to be manually signed, copies of documents that did not to be signed to all those stipulated by the LC. Even uh, whenever the um, uh, issuing the bank mentioned that uh, this uh, document, any kind of document is uh, must be signed by the uh, issuer. Uh, in this case, if the uh, in, uh, supplier or issuer whenever submitted the copy document, uh, the, in that case, no need uh, to be signed of the copy document. This is the very significant issue. And previous, uh, before the, this uh, update, uh, update version, uh, some banker uh, refused this uh, as a uh, refusal cause. Uh, and uh, finally, they did it as the discrepancy and the fee from the pay to the uh, to, to settle the payment. And uh, it arises the confusion among the international trade. And to minimize this uh, uh, confusion, I, ICC has uh, taken this uh, 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 important or uh, uh, significant changes uh, in the latest version of the ISPP. And change number, change number 15. Then uh, another uh, important uh, change uh, in um, uh, a para in, in general paragraph A13C, uh, copies of documents need not be dated, copies of documents in not status, and copies of the documents need not dated, although the stipulated in the credit, although the stipulated in the uh, credit, although the stipulated in the credit. And, uh, uh, and the number six version added uh, para uh, C7, general issues relating to invoice, here the invoice and the, the when a credit is issued US dollar and the invoice the currency is shown as a symbol of a, a symbol of a sign. It used the symbol of a sign whenever it is submitted the uh, document. But he, he or she mentioned the, the USD as a, the uh, uh, currency uh, symbol. But whenever he submitted the document, he, he, uh, the supplier issue, uh, supplier uh, the, the uh, sign of dollar is this. It is uh, make a confusion, uh, this document is uh, uh, discrepancy or this document is a compliant presentation. This is the valid question. And to, to solve this question, ICC taken uh, a number of uh, observations uh, from all over the world. And among them, among them, the expert team of the ICC reviewed and finally taken 814 opinion. Uh, yeah, regarding this matter, and they finally concluded that when a credit is issued US dollar and the invoice currency is shown as a dollar sign without a further qualification, the invoice will fulfill the requirement of the UCPDC 600, uh, Article Number 18A. 18A, A, uh, um, uh, as uh, being made out uh, the same currency as the that uh, credit, unless the data invoice itself such as the, the domicile of the beneficiaries in a country whose currency is the currency is the dominated in a dollar, and uh, or they commonly refer to as the sign uh, the, of the dollar, or any other another presented document implied that, that the US dollar sign may refer to the currency uh, currency if uh, refer to the currency other than the US dollar. Uh, if the dollar sign is uh, referred to the another uh, uh, currency except the dollar, this is, is uh, treated as the description document. This is treated as a discrepancy. This is the, the valid reason for the refusal. But whenever uh, this uh, sign to indicate the US dollar, this uh, document uh, is uh, treated as a complying presentation. USD or USA means the same, same meaning. Unless another another document present implies that the USA may refer to the currency other than uh, 
uh, other than US dollar or domicile of the beneficiary, benefit, domicile of the beneficiary country. Or beneficiary is the country, local currency symbol. If the local currency symbol of the beneficiary is uh, uh, this, as a symbol, uh, whichever is uh, 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 whichever is uh, different from the US dollar, this type of uh, document is treated as the discrepancy. Then this document is uh, uh, is uh, uh, is of, of, is the is the taken method for the refusal. Well, uh, this type of a problem is uh, solved by uh, this uh, uh, changes. And change number uh, seven, change number seven, files the multiple transport document. Multiple transfer document, bill of lending, and ERIC bill is uh, uh, clarified. The signature regarding the signature. Whenever the multiple uh, the document, multiple transfer document uh, in the paragraph number A, A, A D uh, five on, and bill of lending uh, in paragraph number E five by E, e and the non-negotiable C I bill uh, A for E uh, is sensed in this uh, in this uh, uh, under this. Uh, uh, changes and stating here that when the master or the captain, when the master or the captain signs the multimodal transport document or bill of lading or, or non negotiable bill, uh, the signature may be accompanied by a stamp with the incorporated the name of the vessel. Very simple issue whenever this type of document is issued by the master or the captain, uh, he must add number one uh, signature with signature sign with. Stamp, sign with stamp. Number two, number two, stamp, st number two, stamp with incorporate of, with incorporate of, with incorporate of uh, company name. These uh, two things is, uh, is important, and this uh, two things is, uh, is uh, taken the change in this, uh, in this chapter. The signature may be accompanied by the stamp and the incorporate the name of the vessel. Even if the stamp uh, also mentions the name of the owner, the multimodal transport uh, document or the bill of lading or non issuable bill uh, will be considered to have been signed by the master. This uh, stamp uh, is uh, to be referred to as the sheet, sheet uh, stamp, which a uh, sheet stamp, is treated as a sheet stamp. The transport document uh, signed by the master or captain must be accompanied by a stamp that incorporates the name of the vessel. This is the basic change of, of these uh, changes. In a, the, the similar thing is uh, applicable for the uh, bill of lading and uh, for the non-negotiable C or a bill. Also, this similar thing is, uh, 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 is uh, applicable. And number uh, um, eight, uh, the change number eight, the paragraph G4C, uh, chapter 40 bill. And this, uh, in this uh, chapter, similar thing is uh, uh, considered uh, in uh, as like uh, of the transport uh, document, that means the uh, multimodal transport document or bill of lading or the uh, charter party bill. Uh, here, uh, the captain or the master uh, must sign to with the stamp, and the stamp uh, must be uh, incorporated uh, with the name of the vessel. And regarding this matter, uh, ICC uh, taken the observation uh, from all of the world, and uh, among the observation, uh, the expert team of the ICC uh, reviewed the observation and uh, taken 836 opinion uh, for uh, solving this uh, type of uh, problem or this uh, type of uh, case. Um, and number uh, nine, whichever is the uh, list, whichever is the last but not least, uh, and the air, uh, new uh, things uh, who, uh, regarding to the insurance document. Here, two things is added. Number one, uh, KB, uh, however, the stated that when an insurance document appears to have been signed by the agent or a proxy uh, on behalf of the insurance company or, or, or underwriter, the name of the agent or the proxy need not be stapled. That means signature of the agent or proxy on the insurance document need not stamp. Here, no need to uh, stamp, no need to uh, the name of the insurance, uh, and uh, no need to signature. And number C, K2 number C, another uh, addition is uh, taken when the issuer is identified, when the issuer is identified that the insurer, the insurance document need not indicate that this it is his insurance company or the undertaken. That means the issuer of the insurance document need not indicate that it is the insurance company. Or whenever the insurance document is submitted uh, and uh, submitted or uh, uh, placed at the insurance document, or uh, whichever is signed by the agent or the proxy, that not that does not indicate that this is the uh, this is the insurance company or the 
Yeah, this is Honorable Professor Mike Pino. Uh, 